never stopped with me. Morning, if this is it. Morning's ABC Radio Hobart, ABC Northern Tasmania. I'm, I'm going to tell you about a film that you can get out to see tonight at the State Cinema in Hobart. But hardly a more interesting time for this film to have been toured around Australia. Paul Keating made a typically powerful foray into the federal political arena last week. You might remember it as the government were touting a near $400 billion spend on submarines. The former Labor PM was out asking, why are we hitching our defence wagon so tightly to the US at the moment? A new documentary showing in Hobart tonight could provide some insights, a different perspective to the one you're used to hearing. It raises concerns that we're being led along what it describes as the road to war, which just so happens is to be the title of the film. David Bradbury is the filmmaker. He's made documentaries about the Vietnam War conflicts in Southeast Asia, Iraq, East Timor, revolutions and civil war in Central and South America, India, China, Nepal and West Papua. And he's been good enough to talk with us in the studio this morning. It's a very interesting time to be releasing this film. I'll let you tell the story, David. Why, how has this film managed to land at a time when we seem to be having so many of the, com of the conversations nationally that you're focusing on? Well, I think it's just serendipitous that uh, uh, I've been making this film for the last eight months or so, interviewing some top military and political strategists um, on, the, on the east coast of Australia that... Um, really informed me and informed the film that I've organically put together, which is very take home message is that if we're not careful, we're going to be dragged into a war with China, our biggest trading partner, which will very quickly turn nuclear. As a Trident II re-enters the atmosphere at speeds of up to Mach 24, it splits into up to eight independent re-entry vehicles, each with a 100 or 475 kiloton nuclear warhead. Whilst I don't carry a torch, and none of these people I interviewed carry a torch for uh, China and what it's done with its own minorities and what it's done with um, Hong Kong, None of us believe that China is bent upon invading Australia or setting up bases in the South Pacific. A full salvo from an Ohio-class submarine, which can be launched in less than one minute, could unleash up to 192 nuclear warheads to wipe 24 cities off the map. They were going to make a commitment, most likely, to uh, committing hundreds of billions of dollars of taxpayer money into these nuclear propelled submarines, which takes us into another league altogether. We are, in effect, becoming a mi nuclear middle power. Now, while the government is at pains to stress that the nuclear subs are not going to be having nuclear missiles uh, on board, they still will be nuclear reactor f uh, driven, and that is enriched bomb making materials a full salvo from an ohio class submarine which can be launched in less than one minute could unleash up to 192 nuclear warheads to wipe 24 cities off the map what possible excuse is there for such monstrous nation destroying weaponry that's a good question to ask again of you prime minister albanese what possible excuse could there be for such monstrous nation-destroying weaponry to be used? Do we really need subs that can go all the way to China now, or is in fact our best interest in defending Australia from any potential aggressors just in the convention in the waters around Australia. As Hugh White says, we could have sons of, of Collins class submarines in the water within two or three years, which are built in Australia, giving a lot of jobs to Australian workers rather than 15 years time when the UK based subs may be delivered to Australia and so on, that will be defending Australia. We do not need to be interoperable with the United States because that puts us at the mercy of US foreign policy. And as we've just seen and said, that is likely to drag us into a war with China, which there are going to be no winners. From the filmmaker who made Frontline about the legendary Vietnam War cameraman, Neil Davis, 
and brought us his second Academy Award nominated film, Chile Hasta Cuando, filmed clandestinely under the nose of dictator General Pinochet's brutal secret police. David Bradbury directed the multi award winning film, Nicaragua No Passeran, about the Sandinista revolution in Central America, which the CIA and Ronald Reagan tried to stamp out. Now, Bradbury's latest film, The Road to War, narrated by Tony Barry, is a film you must see.